Um, today I'm going to work on some really old pictures. They are from... I knew this a second ago, I swear I did. Two thousand and ten, from May of two thousand and ten, um, and they are of my kids. I'm sorry about the washing machine in the background. Building a birdhouse together. Look at that. They're together. Yeah. How cute, right? Um, what I'm doing is going through. I have some of these old creative memories photo things, and I. <coughs> went through all of my old pictures and sorted out different ones into this sleeve. I labeled it, went ahead and looked up the dates. Then what I've been doing is throwing one of these in my bag that I take to work with me. And then do all of those pages. Like do this one until I'm done. And then I can move on. I might find other old pictures to refill it or whatever or move just on to and I have about six or seven of these um, kind of ready, wait, ready and waiting to go. So, and I've cheated this week. I have actually two in my bag that I'm kind of rotating through. So these were some of the pictures out of one of these sleeves and they're all ready to go. I think that's kind of a cool thing to do, especially since I get to scrapbook at work. I don't have to think about too much, just get through it. And it's working really well for me, at least this month or so. So we'll see how that goes. I have these pictures. Like I said, I'm going to use craft cards deck as a background, which you probably figured out already. And then I have this 6x6 six six paper pad. I'm going to be really honest, I don't hate it, but I have no idea why I have it. it the papers are not necessarily my style. Again, they're not bad. They're just a lot more florally and I guess vintagey than what I would normally use or buy. And so I don't know if I got it at like a yard sale or got it super cheap or something. Not quite sure. Well, I have this paper pen. But I'm going to embrace it. I grabbed these out of my stash. They're just some craft labels that I thought might go. And I grabbed these stickers to use. I know they're all messy and down in the bottom of the bag, but I love them. They're called Weekender by Amy Tangerine, and I think they're fabulous. They're basically Scrabble tiles, but they don't have the numbers on them. I may also use because I keep getting them out and want to, want, want to use them. I think maybe this create right here might find a place on this layout. I have to do this fairly quickly because I have to be at work in just a little bit. And so I need to get this completed, but that'll be okay. So like this flower paper, I know I'll never use, but this woodish grain on the back is decent. So um, my intention is to just kind of go with or find enough papers of these to kind of fill the background. And again, it's all very floral. Now see, I find this one that I like and I'm like, okay, this dot's all right. This dot doesn't bother me. And then of course there's a great neutral on the back, whatever, fine. Maybe I use it like that, who knows. That's a nice brown on the back and a nice bluish, greenish, ish, 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 I don't know. Okay, I kind of like this one. Again, it normally wouldn't be my thing. This whole pad is sort of like that. I don't know why these are sticking so badly. Sorry. Um, that one that says hardware right there, I think might be really cute considering they're like building a something. 
All I'm doing here is just kind of going through and seeing, okay, does this look like something I could use? Or sort of, uh, the other thing it's doing is kind of cleaning out this paper pad. go like this and use actually let's go with the more muted over there so yeah something like that I think so get out the trimmer here and if you're lucky I'll trim some of this video out for you as I do this part. A lot of times I have this kind of stuff already done when I'm making these, but I didn't this time, so there you go. Actually, I will go ahead and pause the video. Okay, I'm back. So all I did during that break was take the six by six papers that I had picked out, cut them down to five and three quarters by five and three quarters, ink the edges. I did cut down this one photo, rounded and inked the edges of that. I thought it would make it pop off the page a little bit better. As I was cutting off all of those little strips, um, it occurred to me that, hey, those might make a cool background and kind of help the photo stand out a little bit, that main sort of finished birdhouse photo. Um, so what I'm gonna do, and I don't know how many of you follow Nicole Jones 911, but she has a challenge this month on her Facebook group to use older products. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This tool thing, I don't know how much you call a tool a product, but I do, so there you go is called a Cheetah 2. It's sort of a Xyron machine. Sorry about the weird noise that it makes. Um, and it makes stuff sticky. And I decided that for what I'm doing here, this little method, yeah, you can run it through, you know, like a regular Xyron machine, but I didn't want to get all that mess out. And I haven't used those in forever. And um, didn't really feel like it. So this, I thought, would do the same job. Basically just trying to make, give myself a nice sticky paper. This pattern paper itself isn't important because I picked it because I don't like it. So anyway, Cheetah 2. I don't know if those are still available or even if the refills are still available. But I happen to still have enough adhesive in this one to uh, use it. And I thought it was kind of fun. And so all I'm going to do is kind of take and... I, I, You've seen people do this. We People do it all the time. I don't have to be terribly concerned about whether or not I get the background covered. That's kind of why I used, went ahead and used a background from the same paper pad. Because that way it really doesn't matter if a little bit of it shows. It's going to coordinate anyway. And I'm going to cut off a quarter of an inch of it on either side and whatever, so um, the other thing I can do is use some of the, uh, they'd be called branding strips on a bigger sheet, but here they're not branding strips because there's no branding needed, but, so I don't know what they are technically on this, but, those little strips that make it stay in the paper pad, yeah, that's what I'm using some of. Let 
And yet there's that dreaded flower paper. Eek. Oh well. I'm sure this is really thrilling to watch, but um, anyway, you kind of get the idea here of what I'm doing. Fact of the matter is, this pi picture's going over a good portion of it, so really I only need to do... might have figured that out a little earlier, huh? <laughs> oh, well. Live and learn, live and learn, live and learn. So then all I need to do is go through and cut off these strips on the side. Sorry, this is a little boring to watch. Um, so anyway, I picked this particular photo of my kids or this particular subject about this birdhouse. Not that the birdhouse is such a big... I mean, it's pretty cool, honestly. But, you know, not that it's such a big deal so much as... This is a picture of my kids actually, like, getting along, working together, having a good time at it. And it's amazing. Um, they're... They're both wonderful children. Really, literally. Like, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being snarky and sarcastic. Uh, they're both really, really great kids. Um, but th they have issues getting along, and I guess it's just a sibling thing, and not that weird compared to any other siblings, but, um, it's frustrating, you know, it's, it's difficult sometimes to deal with people who don't get along constantly, and they're just constantly at each other, on each other's case making life difficult for one another and everyone else that comes in contact with them. Uh, <laughs> no, I do, I, that sounds terrible. Like, it sounds like, yeah, great mom. Mm -hmm. Really love your kids, don't you? Crazy woman. Anyway, but no, I do. They're great. I wish they got along a little better. Maybe someday they will. I don't know. I, I, mm, who knows? I guess time will tell, right? It's one of those things. And then we'll trim again. Taking shape nicely, right? So almost done with this. Sorry about the silence. I don't know. I flaked out apparently for a minute there. Sorry about that. Technically not very exciting. Sorry. Hopefully I'm not making the worst video ever here. Oh well. I'm sure there are worse things. Now the nice thing is, of all those little strips of paper, this is what I actually have left to throw away. And being the hoarder that I am, even, 
I do not feel at all bad throwing just that little bit away. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, the trick with this is, anytime you do that with all the little pieces, uh, the trick is, yes, this is the trimmer I use, really, I know. Say what you will, I love it. So the trick is to use a background when you do all those little strips and then flip it over um, and do it upside down when you're trimming it down to size, whatever size that is that you need, um, because that way your trimmer is not trying to go through all the bumpy layers. You have a nice smooth layer for your trimmer. Not that that's a huge secret. I'm sure you all figure that out on your own. But, oh, it took me a couple tries, so there you go. Now you know. So, doing the same thing here. Corner chomper. necessarily going to ink this but kind of needs it so this is just the ranger I don't know inker thing love those technical terms inker thing I don't know I think it's technically called a blending tool yeah and all I did was kind of use what I had left over that was already like stuck down to the the, uh, the ink that was already on the inker. That's all I used. Um, I didn't add additional ink to it this time. Um, and you know what? The idea was I was going that way, but I almost like it like that. What do you think? Yeah, we're going like that. Actually, I'm changing my mind again. I'm a woman, it's what we do, right? So this is just a roll of foam tape that I got on clearance at Target. I like this particular foam tape. It's my favorite because it's thinner. See, thin, yeah. Um, but it's really expensive, and so I tend to use it a little bit more sparingly, although that's not obvious from looking at this particular thing I'm doing while I'm talking to you here. So I thought this would be a fun way to kind of use up that 6x6 six six that I wasn't in love with. Yeah, see that pops it up, gives it a little bit of shadow behind. Hopefully you can see that. And um, I think that'll work nicely for what we're doing here. So now it's just a matter of sticking down these slightly less than six inch background papers. And I'm not going to be particularly careful here. Perhaps I should. Perhaps you think I'm terrible for not being all like exact. Um, anybody who knows me in real life, yeah, I'm not terribly That's actually not true. 
I am kind of. I do tend to overthink things, analyze things, do too much, go over the top. So, <laughs> that's part of what I do in scrapbooking is try to branch out and it's my outlet, if you want to call it that. Scrapbooking is my opportunity to let go and kind of do things maybe a little differently than I might normally do them. So whereas in real life I'm a little bit obsessive, or a lot obsessive, in scrapbooking I try not to be. And I usually like that. It usually is nice for me to relax a little bit and not obsess about, oh is that perfectly straight and uh, did I say it in the perfect way? Did I use the perfect paper? And this layout's a really great example of that. The, the paper that I have doesn't go perfectly with the pictures. It's not themed particularly um, to go with them. None of the colors really pull out colors in my kids' outfits. There's a little bit of red and a little bit of red in her shirt, but there's a lot going on in these photos, and so I didn't really want to get too bogged down with picking out any one particular thing. Plus, I, I've had these photos a long time and never gotten them scrapbooked, and it's time to do that. And so, if this is a good way to do that and it gets it accomplished, I think that's great. And it makes me really happy. And so then what I'm going to do with these is sort of bridge the gap between the papers, like so. And kind of going for straight across. Okay, with these I really am going to go with a straight across, so I am going to cheat a little bit. Um, okay, it's not cheating. It's like, you know, using the right tool for the job. <laughs> so, um, but I do want these at least a reasonable, yeah, that's not right. I want the pictures in a little bit in order of um, the bird house being built. And so I had that one down in the wrong spot. Um, this bird house thing that they're doing, yes, I love it because they're cooperating. Um, it's really kind of cool. What they did was it was at a um, nature center here in town. And they had this event, and I think it was like a family day kind of thing. And the ki kids that went got to build their own birdhouse. And the idea is you take it home, you hang it outside, and you have a little bit of that nature with you at your house. Very cute, very good idea. Now you're about to see the next problem I apparently created for myself. Um, but I'll figure it out. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Great. Just love it when the adhesive runs out and you're done as you're doing a project. As you're making a video of that project, that's just awesome. Luckily this one already has adhesive. All we're going to do is very gently pull up that one piece of foam, hopefully, and 
stick it back down. There you go. That works okay, right? Yeah, it works good for me. Thank you, thank you. So, tape, right? Mm. I hear people all the time who complain about this gun, don't love their ATG, because they say, oh, it's so hard to change the tape. Yeah, it's not hard to change the tape. Now, admittedly, the first few times, it was a little bit more difficult. I admit to looking it up on YouTube a couple times to make sure I knew how to do it. Um, there's instructions right on the gun if you look at it there's like an arrow right there sort of tells you how to do it basically you just thread it through Usually that little end is sticky enough that it stays down, and voila, there it is. That's it. See? That wasn't so bad, right? Um, so then I think what I'm going to do is take... one of these. I'm going to cut it. These little craft labels are kind of cool. They're label shapes. They're craft. They're pretty nifty. So I think we'll make kind of a clustery deal there. I think kind of a clustery deal right here. And maybe that hardware thing isn't really, it's not like a hardware store, it's not like You know, like this is an actual store. It was just part of the paper. So it's not like particularly important. I just thought it was really cute. So that's kind of a good way to sort of throw that in. Now since I do have, I was kind of getting disappointed because I thought I wasn't going to have enough black. You know, really any, there's no really any black in here. Uh, and so I thought, oh, maybe I won't be able to use this create that I really want to use. And then I realized that if I use a couple of those labels, they have that black design, black in them that I'm looking for. And so maybe. Okay, yeah, I don't know about this. Are you seeing this? This is going to be fun. If any of you have used these before and you have like a better way to do that, uh, I would love to hear it. Because I'll admit, I eyed those stickers forever at Hobby Lobby, these, these here, and I didn't buy them, and uh, so I was like, oh, I won't use them, you know, whatever, and I was so excited to use, get them, and yeah, use them, and well, that was kind of a pain. Actually, it wasn't that bad, it looked, and it looks pretty good. 
So, you like that? Yeah. Um, kind of nifty, kind of neat, different. So, let's take these. Hopefully I'm not boring you too much here. Sorry if I am. Yeah, these enable, these uh, thickers are awesome, but yeah. And we're gonna go with, actually, I was gonna go with my title there, and I think I'm gonna change that. build a hopefully there's another B in here somewhere I mean it's not life or death I have several sets of these stickers actually Sorry, I know this is thrilling watching me. Uh, fine letters here. I'm almost done. You're so excited. I know, I can tell. I can see it. I'm thinking of seeing if I have in my stash somewhere some smaller brown letter stickers. Oh, I have gold and white. They're in a different folder. So I'll have to get those out later so you won't. Um, I'll post the final layout um, and it'll have those on it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I have white and gold. That'll be great. Uh, because I actually, this is super nerdy. Um, the movie Frozen comes out today on DVD. And so I'm totally in like that nerd mindset of, hey, new Disney movie. Yeah, right, I know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm totally, we're totally into it. We're totally getting it this evening, so I'm sure. It'll be on when I get home tonight from work. Um, and so what I really want this title to be is, do you want to build a birdhouse? You know, like, do you want to build a snowman? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, I will post, I have to stick these down with glue because as you can tell from the, uh, in the bag, they are just great at sticking down. Uh, so we're going to glue, and this is Tombow Mono Multi Glue. So we're going to glue these down. I'm not particularly trying to go up and down with them as much as I just don't want it to look like I tried really hard to put them in a straight line. So I'm not doing that at all putting them in a straight line anyway. They're just going wherever they go. Um, and some of them get beat up a little bit. Most of that's just because of um, 
being like that in that bag where they don't get to, um, well, they're all bumping up against each other and kind of rolling around, and so they get a little bruised, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Anyway, that's like the, like the A right there is kind of like that. So, uh, build a birdhouse. Do you want to build a birdhouse? Uh, is what I'm going for there. And uh, so what I'm going to do probably tonight when I get home, get um, those other stickers on for do you want to um, do a date up here. Probably a few little enamel dots or something um, somewhere throughout. A um, little bit of twine would be nice, but I don't know how I'm going to do that, maybe. So anyway, I will post some finished pictures once I get everything completely completed at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Um, let me know what you think. So.